So we, the, since the beginning of the, the week, we are trying to, to explore the method of performance trial. And uh, I thought it was uh, important to uh, take, uh, take a, a back step in order to, to, to try to define what, what it is and uh, to give some uh, example, well known example in uh, uh, from uh, Milo Rao uh, uh, that uh, who, who used that, the, that kind of. Uh, of uh, performance. I'm not a, a specialist. I'm, I'm not a theorist. I'm, uh, I'm uh, a practitioner of theater and uh, it's uh, not far that I uh, discover this kind of uh, acting. So uh, it helps me to, to, to understand what I'm trying to, to do with my last show. Uh, Justice uh, 67, uh, but it was the the occasion to to explore the the method. That's why I made, I made a, a a little bit uh, research in order to understand more. The the uh, the first point would be uh, to try to have a definition of what a performance trial is. It uh, a performance trial. Uh, so I, I, I watch the, uh, on, on the on the PowerPoint. I watch uh, the points so that you can follow. Uh, is 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 easier easier uh, easy, easily the presentation. So uh, performance uh, trial consists of organizing a trial outside uh, of legal institutions. So that the first question would be why? Why should we allow, uh, do, do we want to organize a trial outside of a court of law? And uh, 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 Remy and uh, Antonin spoke about that uh, on uh, Thursday. Uh, it's uh, generally when justice is failing or is perceived to be failing. For example, when the, the authorities, uh, the state, the judiciary, the police, and so on, refuse to convene a court and uh, are engaging, uh, engaging a denial of justice. So, a uh, performance trial is always an, an approach that takes justice seriously. It's not a parody. It uh, has to, uh, the aim is to, to render justice when there is no justice. Consequences, uh, there, there is uh, often uh, an investigation, an investigation is carried out, uh, the trial may call, may call on real victims or witnesses, uh, on real culprits, it may call on legal professionals, like judges, lawyers, experts, and so on. It takes the form of a real trial, trial with real laws. That's important to, to notice. The only difference is that a performance trial has no enforceable sentence. No execution, no, the sentence can, can, can't be executed. That was a kind of definition. The second point is the, the, the two poles of truth and falsity. Uh, because with performance trial, we are in, in theater, we are in the, the falsity. And uh, we can take the example of the Moscow trials who were uh, real institutional, uh, institutional uh, trial, but who, were, who was, at, at the, the verdict was not in advance, uh, the trial was rich, it was false. The, the couch became the stage, 
It was what we call show trials. It's no, it's no more the, the stage we became the court with the Moscow trials, is the court who became the stage. You remember the, the Moscow trials? It was in the 30, the 1936 and 1938 in Moscow. Stalin uh, decided to judge his uh, opponents uh, in order to eliminate, to eliminate uh, all the opponents he had. He had. And uh, it, it was uh, it was uh, a lot of, of people who were in the October Revolution were uh, well at the beginning at, at the beginning of the revolution, and he made uh, his institutional legal trials, but it was false. And. Uh, I'd like to, to say something about that, because the, these Moscow trials were uh, following a realistic aesthetic, uh, probably with the Stanislavski method, uh, and the, 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 the guilty, the false guilty uh, people has to, to learn a rule as to uh, recite a text and they have to they, they have to practice rehearsal and it was so successful it was so realistic it was so uh, imperialism that everybody should oh, that, that's the truth that's the truth but the realistic the truth was uh, how can I explain that? Uh, it, they have to eliminate everything that was spectacular. There was no spectacular, no big emotion. No, it was absolutely simple, realistic, and so deep, so uh, deep, so stark. Everybody, there is no lie. But that was the lie. The realistic, the, the realism is a lie. That's why uh, Bertolt Brecht said uh, that it demonstrates, it, it, it demonstrates the danger of realism. We need, uh, as, uh, as, uh, 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 as audience, we need a, a, a critical distance. Mask can be truer than realism. Spectacle can be truer than realism. The question of truth is not a, a question of aesthetics. Um, and the paradox that we uh, reach with that question is that the false trial can be truer than real trial. So the pull between truth and falsity are inverse in such case. And the false trial has to give the truth to repair the real trial. <laughs> Moscow trials, for example, is a, a little bit like in the carnival, and we don't know anymore where is the truth, where is the past. Every values are uh, mixed, but the theatrical, that the theatrical, ah, sorry, the theatrical, theatrical performances, so can. Uh, give us a way to look for the truth. I'd like now to take an example, the example of the Russell Tribunal. You spoke uh, on Thursday about it. So the Russell Tribunal was a tribunal of opinion in Sweden and Denmark in 1967. Uh, 
It was the intellectuals and artists from all over the world, Jean-Paul Sartre, Winter Anders, Peter Weiss, James Baldwin, Bertrand Russell himself, uh, who decided to judge the USA for their involving in the Vietnam War. The indictment was a crime of genocide. They, 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 they worked with uh, jurists, with experts, ballistic experts, uh, historical, chemists, scientists, and so on, in order to, to find the truth. It was a false tribunal who was working in order to, to find the truth. And at the end, this, the, 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 there was a lot of debate. There was uh, absolutely not agree uh, each, uh, together. But at the end, the, uh, everybody was convinced it was a crime of genocide in Vietnam. Since then, there have uh, been other research tribunals. The last one was in uh, January 2023, uh, uh, and found uh, it was in London, and, uh, and found China guilty of uh, genocide against the Uyghur people. The performance trial, trial is just a symbolic act. But as, a, as symbolic, it has effects in the real world. It's a judicial gesture. The symbolic sentence is real. Even if it's fictional, it, ha it has a performative dimension. Sartre said, it is because the sentence is unenforceable, parad paradoxically, that it acts. It draws an horizon more open than the present, because uh, the symbolic reparation in the present calls for an effective reparation later. For example, when we take uh, the example of a uh, Russian tribunal was in 1967. Perhaps one day uh, uh, we will uh, say yes, that was that was uh, uh, Vietnam needs reparation. I'd like to speak now about the role of the audience in the performance trial. In this performance trial, the audience does not come to watch a show. They are invi invited to judge. The, the, the artist summons the citizens as, as juror. So the fiction shifts to a judgment. And it, that's a way uh, to make the audience become a people of citizen. That's the aim of the, such kind of performance. That the audience become a citizen. I'm not there in the in the in the room as a spectator, but as a citizen. The 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 aim of Brecht also. It has, as such, a, a political dimension, obviously. I'd like to speak now about the performance trial and the question of reenactment. Uh, the reenactment is a way to replay an historical event and as such, it is oriented toward the past. It's a tool at the service of history. The performance trial is oriented toward the future. It's a tool at the service of democratic life.
the general issue at stake in performance trial is always the desire for more real democracy. That's what he spoke about. Now I'd like to take three examples, three well-known examples of a performance trial by Milo Rao. Milo Rao, uh, have you ever heard about him? It's a register uh, in, in Schweiz, Schweiz, um, Switzerland. 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 <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, yeah, and uh, 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 is a political uh, engaged, and he made a first one. It was the Zurich court. A second one, the Moscow trials of Brussels riots, and at least. At last, uh, the Congo Tribunal. I, I would like to speak uh, about the, these three examples. The Zurich Court was a trial against a newspaper, Die Weltwoche. It was a far right populist newspaper. The newspaper has been accused on a several occasions of racism and defamation of minorities. But because of the weight of freedom of opinion in uh, Swiss, uh, Swiss courts, it has never been convinced, convicted. That's why Milorao organized a trial at uh, the Neumarkt Theater based on the Swiss constitution, with real lawyers, a prosecuting lawyer, a defense lawyer, and the president of the federal court himself presiding uh, over the, tri the trial. They invited uh, representatives from both sides to uh, appear as witnesses. On one side, the defender of the newspaper of freedom of expression, and so on. And on the other side, a representative of outraged minority, expert in constitutional law and human, human rights activists. They, they uh, remain uh, the, the legal rules in the, in, the, in the court. Despite evidence, solid evidence of a xenophobic journalistic campaign in Die Weltwoche, the jury came out clearly in favor of Akita. What, what did you say about the, the first, uh, the fact that the legal trial was not possible at first? What because of the... the because of the weight of freedom of, of uh, opinion in mm -hmm. Swiss schools. And there was an acquittal by six votes to one. It's important to say a performance trial is uh, not written before. Mm -hmm. It's of the outcome, it's still often. Milorao did this performance, he believed it would be uh, an indictment, but it was an acquittal. Point. Yeah. That's really important to have uh, that in the head. A second example is the trial of the Passel riots in Moscow. Uh, I, a little bit uh, about the context. Uh, in uh, Russia, the Majority uh, Russian Orthodox population is an, uh, 90 90 percent of the population in the European part of Russia has been declared by Putin as a religious minority. It's a 19 percent of the population is a minority for Putin. Uh, so. The state can use the minority protection article against dissident artists. That was its aim. 
In 2012, the past the Pussy Riot, the Russian feminist punk rock band, gave a concert critical of the government in the Cathedral of the Redeemer. And three of them were sentenced to prisons. Uh, of, uh, for a labor camps for vandalism and indignant to religious art. Milo Rao decided to rerun the trial with the same lawyers and the same witnesses, including new participants from both sides. It was an acquittal, but in dubio pro reo. It was three for acquittal, three for uh, indictment, and one abstention. How do we say abstention? Abstention. Yeah. Abstention. So that's why it was an acquittal. But it's not really difficult. So in that case, the tribunal, uh, the performance trial is an alternative to institutional justice. Uh, and what is at stake is to the, the judging well. And what is interesting is to not notice that the, the laws are respected in the artistic performance and not in the institutional trials. That was the, because it, it was the same people. But always the, this paradox. And now the Congo Tribunal, last example. Uh, it was uh, in the, uh, after the Rwanda uh, war. And for Miller Rao, the Congo Tribunal, uh, the, the aim of the Congo Tribunal was to reveal the true face of a, an economic war, of a global economic war. Uh, so it has for, for him a, 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 an, utopia, a, 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 an utopic dimension, utopian dimension. This court of, sorry, this court of opi uh, opinion has, uh, has no legal value, but a considerable symbolic significance. It was modeled on the Russell Trot uh, Sarge Tribunal from uh, 1967. It was held in uh, May and June 2015 uh, in Berlin and Bukavu in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The chairmanship wa uh, was a lawyer at the International Criminal Court in The Hague. It uh, lasts six days. Six days of hearings, 60 witnesses and experts, more than 1,000 people who attended the hearings. And now a citation from uh, Miller Rao. It's a theatrical court where everything is real, from the minors to the, rebel, to the, to the rebels, from the cynical minister to the lawyer from the Hague. All the participants are playing nothing but their own part. In uh, his opening speech, Rao makes his position clear and I said his commitment as the and with this uh, citation by taking the side of the dispossessed the mistreated, those who are said to have no lobby on their side, it will be a question of making the voices that are never heard, heard, heard. The voices of rural communities, of Congolese citizens, of simple teachers, as well as small traders. Voices of the millions of men, women, and children who belong to what is known as the civil society and who are still confronted with the blind and merciless efficiency of the globalized economy. The question is why 
do people agree to take part in a theatrical tribunal to the point, to the point of putting their own life in danger? Because in that case, their own life were in danger. It, it, it was uh, people who had killed some other people and so on. And uh, an, uh, an answer of a journalist is where politics fails, only art can save us. In conclusion, the layout of the courts makes it possible to sit political enemies at the same table who would never meet, have met in real life because they are always speaking through, uh, through the television. Uh, one is in, is in one room, the other is in the uh, other room. They are never together at the same table, the enemies. And uh, they are always in a virtual space, the space of media together, but not in the reality. And Performance Trial <coughs> succeeds to, to do that to make that it's not more virtual, but we are in the reality, we can join the enemies at the same table and to make the antagonists more uh, tangible, more concrete, more visible. The result, and it will be my last sentence, is a positive counter image to the show trials of this talk. The performance trial are a positive counter image, image to the show trials of history, the Moscow trials, of, and so on. That was it. <laughs>